In the freezing northern regions of the world, innovative people learned how to convert cisterns into livable and customizable homes. The reason for their choice will sound incredible. The traditional use for cisterns is far removed from housing. In principle, they're used to transport oil and other liquids over vast distances all across the world. However, some very innovative and entrepreneurial people saw the potential of developing mobile homes from these cylindrical structures. A large number of these cisterns were just lying around without any future utilization or purpose, actually spoiling the environment. Thankfully, they seem to have found a new life. In the far north, the practice of using cylinders for housing has been going on for more than 40 years. In several remote areas of the planet, it is not uncommon to stumble upon housing compounds made from repurposed cisterns. This innovation started out when the need arose to supply adequate housing for shift workers, researchers, military personnel and mountain climbers in some of the northern settlements. These people were often required to work in extreme environmental conditions. With temperatures dropping below 65 degrees Celsius, accompanied by wind speeds of 60 meters per second. The biggest challenge was to develop housing that could be comfortable and resistant against the harsh climate of the northern regions. Experience has shown that metal oil barrels are the most reliable to use for this type of housing. When they are arranged correctly, they can withstand extremely powerful gusts of wind as well as severe frost. The Soviet Union is to thank for this discovery. Their innovative minds connected the need for housing in severe weather conditions to idle standing containers. Initially, the industry thought it wise to supply wooden work trailers with very frail installation installed. Although it was well intended, these trailers could not even withstand minus 20 degrees of frost and quickly started to buckle under extreme weather pressure. It was time to bring out the big guns to help with design and product development. Two skillful engineers from the USSR, Alexander Nukleyev and Sergei Komolov, took this housing innovation to a new level. They designed an improvement to mobile living units known as the unified metal block that completely reformed the concept of housing. They were adamant to set and uphold an excellent new standard for their product. The first housing model was developed in 1975. But it took a further three years to correct a few design flaws and test out some additional options. The improved model of 1978 was a prototype for the first residential mobile complex. It was clear that the developers were onto something much needed, but also of great quality. A very significant benefit was that these cylindrical houses did not require a lot of investment in terms of money or labor. When construction costs can be kept to a minimum, it makes any design popular and in great demand. This design therefore became very popular as it provided excellent living conditions while also being extremely reliable and available at a reasonable price. The various living spaces can be custom-made to suit the needs of the intended users. The units can be equipped with kitchens, bathrooms, sittings and sleeping areas, depending on the needs of the individuals. Using wood paneling to finish up the interior is both comfortable and aesthetically pleasing. When people have options to custom design their own workplace, a place that was initially built only to meet their basic needs ends up feeling like a real home. Some of the production standards the designers had to keep in mind were the requirement of durability, streamlining during transportation, stability during strong gusts of wind, and providing relative comfort. The production process was guided by scientific calculations, as well as the utilization of technical expertise. The designers did their research to incorporate everything the harsh northern territories require for effective housing. When only necessary materials are utilized, the production process also remains cost-effective and affordable. Before the unified metal block could become the standardized form of housing, they needed someone to test it out, and the army volunteered to take part in the experiment. There is always the need for good quality and standard of mobile housing when soldiers are deployed into remote areas, away from their bases of operation. Also, the soldiers need shelter and temporary offices to effectively conduct their work. Soon after the test started, it was found that these units had reduced heat radiation 
compared to rectangular shaped buildings, which helped with the retention of heat. We may forget that even when it's extremely cold outside, ventilation remains an important design feature. In these cylindrical houses, the ventilation system is installed underneath the ceiling, in the upper part of the structure. Ideal conditions are created to ensure a perfect balance between heating and ventilation without the buildup of condensation inside the house. Of course, there are also several layers of isolation in place to optimize the effectiveness of the units. One of the needs of modern man is to have a steady supply of hot and cold water available inside their homes. For this purpose, a mounted unit over water is a standard feature of these homes. It gives people the option to install showers as well as flush toilets. It seems like this type of housing is ideal to suit the needs of a variety of diverse people, from ordinary shift workers to adventurous mountain climbers, in the harsh areas of the north. It is also important to consider the transportation potential of these units, as the snow and ice make it more difficult to reach remote areas. The good news is that these pre-assembled units can be transported by all types of vehicles. You even have the option to deploy a helicopter to carry them around if the terrain and conditions require much extra effort. Weirdly enough, the fact that the houses have been designed for the coldest regions of the planet is the exact thing that creates their main disadvantage in different areas. When the units are used in regions where the temperatures tend to rise, they overheat very easily and almost became unlivable. Up in the north, the disadvantages are practically non-existent, but engineers work together to build units that could also be more efficient in different environments. When people choose to live in a house like this, but in an area where temperatures get hot, the first thing they have to do is to add additional shading. This result can be achieved by adding a wooden roof, mats made from reeds or straw, or even tarpaulin coverings. They can also plant climbing plants to create a canopy and reduce heat. Covering the cylindrical blocks with polyurethane coatings will also help to cool down the units. These houses are cheap easy to transport, pleasant to live in, customizable, ventilated, able to withstand the harsh weather conditions of the northern regions of the world, and also equipped with any imaginable comfort. It is no surprise that people living in remote territories prefer to live in these cisterns. But what is the real, most important reason behind their choice? The answer is incredible, and it makes a lot of sense. These living units provide incredible isolation against the cold. As heating is one of the main objectives of these units, it is surprising not to find chimneys or electric heaters. On closer inspection, the heating system is hidden away in the floors, consisting of convectors that very effectively warm up the living and working units. The developers of this type of housing got the most important objective right, while the temperature outside could be a freezing minus 65 degrees Celsius, inside it will still be a warm plus 16 degrees Celsius. Being isolated from the extreme cold remains a top priority. Very few outsiders are familiar with living and functioning in such harsh environments with extremely low temperatures and the need for some level of comfortable living. But these engineers knew exactly what they were aiming for, and they managed to achieve complete success. Amazingly, there is no warmer shelter in the world than the barrel houses, which date back more than 40 years. Considering the progress of technology in these last four decades, this record is even more surprising. Some critical onlookers may not regard this kind of housing as the most comfortable or cozy at first glance, but in such harsh weather conditions, the most important feature its tenants need is isolation against the cold. A perfect house in these areas will have the ability to create and sustain as much warmth as possible. The harsh winter months in the north pose the greatest challenge to human survival. But thanks to these old, repurposed cisterns, this obstacle is now out of the way. Did you know that people in the north voluntarily chose to live in these old cisterns? Would you ever swap your comfortable house with these cylindrical blocks if it meant you could feel warmer during the winter? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.